Uh, hundreds of people came out to protest over the death of George Floyd, but once the sun set, small groups of people started breaking windows and looting businesses around downtown. This is video and some fires of some of the damage that you see last night. This morning on Sunrise, we do have team coverage for you this morning just to get you caught up on everything that you might have missed while you were sleeping. So we're going to start with Meredith Juliet with a recap of the shootings downtown, two of them deadly and what IMPD is trying to do to control all of this. Meredith, uh, where are you and, and, and what are you seeing? I mean, this is, this is really surreal, I think, for so many of us waking up on this Sunday. Oh, it feels like a movie driving around downtown, almost like an apocalyptic kind of movie. We're here in front of the Five Guys, which I would say this is the worst that I've seen um, a restaurant or storefront be hit. Looks like they got pretty much every single window, got inside and, and tore things out. This is on the corner of Washington and Pennsylvania. And you guys said it exactly right. It started out as a huge peaceful protest. Then it got dark and smaller groups kind of broke off or formed. And that's when things got violent and not only violent, but also deadly. We do know of two deadly shootings that happened overnight. The first happened right before midnight. It was at Talbot and Delaware. That's between the War Memorial and Mass Ave. Police say an adult male died at the scene from gunshot wounds. About two hours later, another deadly shooting happening just blocks away at Penn and Market. We're still trying to learn more information about that shooting. Now, IMPD says these were not officer-involved shootings. They say no officers fired shots this evening. Early this morning, they spoke to media saying enough is enough. Indianapolis, we are better than this. Downtown is not safe at this time. Residents who do not live in the downtown area, we're asking to please vacate the area. Now, Mayor Joe Hogsett tweeted a few hours ago, making it clear that this violence is a small group and different than the peaceful protests, many of whom had already left by the time that it became violent. And just walking around downtown, I mean, it is bizarre. I wish there was a woman out here we wanted to show you, but she has stepped away now. But she's out here with her broom and a dustpan, and she was kind of just cleaning up a street corner. I mean, she's already getting started at 6.30 in the morning, doing what she can to clean things up. And whew, excuse me. <laughs> Better than Alyssa. Bless you, Meredith. I mean, I mean there, th Thank there you. are almost no windows left in that Five Guys downtown, Alyssa. I, I, I'm trying to wrap my mind around that. Yeah, and it's, a, it's just the pictures are incredible because it's so many businesses, so widespread. Yeah. I mean, the number we got on going f what happened Friday overnight was 30 businesses. So if you put that into perspective, that last night was far worse. I mean, yeah. we don't have the numbers just yet, but uh, I can't can't even imagine what it's going to no. be. So Meredith just talked about two deadly uh, shootings that happened downtown overnight. Yeah, and that was downtown. There was yeah. another deadly shooting, too, a little further outside of downtown. That was at 38th and Orchard, which is over by the state fairgrounds. This is what the scene looked like last night, and here's what we know right now. Two people were shot. One of them died, and the other is in the hospital in serious condition. And then there was another shooting downtown on New York and Alabama Street. All we know about this one right now, though, is that the person shot is in serious condition. And, of course, as we get more information on both of these shootings, we will, of course, update you on our live blog, WTHR.com, as well as on our WTHR News app. There were several fires around the city last night, including a car fire on Raymond Street. Police say a car driving by threw a Molotov cocktail, uh, which is basically a homemade bomb into this car, and crews were able to get things under control pretty quickly there. And then, and then these are uh, pictures from a fire at the CVS on Illinois Street. Crews were called there just before 1 this morning and had that fire under control within an hour. Uh, thankfully, no injuries were reported there. So now if we uh, want to check back in with Mary Mill. She's also downtown for us this morning, continuing our team coverage. And Mary, where are you at this point right now and um, seeing pretty much the same that you saw when we saw you about 30 minutes ago? Yeah, we're just a block north. We are still on Pennsylvania, uh, just south of Ohio Street. But everything looks the same. It doesn't get any better. In fact, it just gets worse. Uh, we are uh, at the Salesforce building here, and this is one of the restaurants they have. And as you can see right through the window, that uh, everything is just shattered. Uh, they have not been here yet to board things up, so you can see right there in the restaurant. And we're told that uh, some of these folks actually got inside and, and took things. We're not sure what happened here. This is one of the entrances to the Salesforce building. You can see, again, the, uh, the doors just blown out. 
and all the glass there on the ground. And then we're going to walk down here. This is Yolk, a popular place for breakfast. And again, you can walk right in there um, with all the glass here shattered on the ground. And we're going to walk around the corner. Um, also want to point out we're still seeing a number of police cars just patrolling around this area. And across here at the federal building, also wanted to point out, kind of hard to see, but there is some um, vandalism graffiti over there as well, saying no justice, no peace uh, on the building over there. And again, we're going to walk here, being careful where we walk with all the glass. It is dangerous out here. People probably should not be just walking around for many reasons, but that's one of them, just everything you're seeing in the streets. Also, uh, the bus station here vandalized. We could keep walking, and you would just keep seeing the same thing. Now, I'm going to bring these two uh, men into uh, the shot over here. Uh, David and David, they're cousins, and this David happens to be a pastor. And uh, you were just talking. You just came down here because you'd heard and you wanted to see this. And yeah, it's amazing what I picked up, and it's just, if you can get this, this is for trained law enforcement and correctional officer. This is... Um, basically like a tear gas canister they use almost set this on the ground if you sure please do yeah it's it's just real sad what's happened to our city i i would implore the mayor to either try to have some help in this you know i i appreciate what the police are doing to protect our city it just breaks my heart like i was telling you earlier that um where are we going to rebuild you know, we got this corona epidemic going on, and now this. I mean, we've dealt with two black, two black eyes in the city. We're trying to heal ourselves, and yet there's so much destruction. Where do we begin? Mm -hmm. It is it is very difficult to walk around and to see. It makes me cry. That's why I'm holding what's the left. Tears. It's literally dozens of businesses. And 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 I I would implore these business owners to come together and help out each other during this difficult time. Right. This right. is not the time to be a competitor or out one manship, but to really come together and rally around as a city. Right, and, and I'm sure many, many people at this point in particular share that sentiment. Yes. So, and, and again, Alyssa, just as we wander around again, you can't take two steps and not see something like this. So uh, it is very widespread. So we're gonna send it back to you. We'll see you in the next half hour. Boy, it, it is uh, surreal, Mary. Thank you very much. Now, take a look at some of the damage we've seen since late last night. This was near Washington and Penn. Late last night, people set a couple of dumpsters on fire around 10 o'clock. Lots of damage in and around this part of downtown, including some of the nearby businesses, of course. Remember that five guys, that burger place downtown on the corner of Washington and Penn? That's where Meredith is live for us this morning. You saw all of the windows pretty much busted out in that restaurant downtown. And this was one of the more surreal moments from last night. Our Steve Jefferson was actually live on Facebook late last night and came across uh, the downtown liquor store, which was being looted as he was live. Uh, you, you could see there were already plywood boards up around the windows that were previously broken out. But look, you could see people inside of that liquor store there taking bottles of liquor from it. I mean, last night, several people got in. They started stealing some of those liquor bottles. I mean, again, keep in mind, all of this was happening while Steve was live on Facebook last night. So again, we're talking about this being surreal, heartbreaking, and a lot of frustrations are just uh, amplified this morning, Ben.